All right, now we're gonna do a chai. You're not gonna put espresso in that unless someone says chai with a shot or they want a wicked chai or a dirty chai. And no matter the size, it's only one shot because let me tell you that chai's already got a ton of caffeine. So this one's a hot. Now, if it was iced, um, we've done a video on how to do iced drink. It's, it's the same. You'd put the chai stuff in, you'd put the milk, put the ice and stir it really good. But we're gonna stick with the steamed one because that's the hardest part is getting that milk steamed properly, things like that. So we default again to 2% unless our instructions indicate differently. So we're gonna just do a plain old chai. So I'm gonna fill this up and I'm finishing up one. So I just go like that kind of lean against it and I would toss it in the trash. I'll go ahead and steam this, tap to get my bearings. All right, five to seven seconds of aeration. If they were doing a shot in it, I'd pull my shot. But right now I'm gonna do my chai. So this is a medium. And so we have a separate chai amount. The small chai gets one pump of sugar. The medium and large get two, the large ice get three. Otherwise it just gets a little too sweet. So one and two, cause this is a medium and this is by far the, the biggest number of sizes ordered are mediums. All right, so go ahead. I'm gonna tap those big bubbles if they're out there. Another technique is to kind of swirl them. You might see some people swirling. They're just popping those big bubbles, kind of making the milk nice and smooth. All right, my phone holder backer. Kind of fill it in a little fast because that can help stir it up and mix it. But I do encourage stirring that because that sauce is a bit thicker than our syrups. You'll see some people kind of swirling. You know, the technique is basically they're mixing that sugar so it's not all sitting at the bottom. And now you have your chai.